Hurrah! How are you guys doing? Yes, I know daytime. I don't know. Continuity error! Oh, it's hard to hear. Mr. C. No, I'm not gonna pay you anything. Actually, do I have more? Ah, uh, too late. We're here! Offset Island! Let's go! Is that mailbox shaking? No, I thought it was shaking. Actually, I would like to take a picture of you, miss. May I? Ah. Bam! Oh yeah, I forgot to say hi to you. Hi, I'm home! I was asking me what you know, she was going to protect your grandmother. Yeah, but I have a, well, my sister ain't been saved. I got a girl to save, to be exact. Hey, Mr. Piggy. What's up? You know our pet's pig, well, to be honest, we name him after you. Lucky you. <laughs> He's been like you, and just like you, when you feed him some bait, he'll start digging on his mind until he takes the treasure. Wait, you don't do that. Why oh, are you testing your mind by picking that pig at us? And you don't take him from one cup. What do you say? Sure, why not? How dare you! Ow! Dang, I actually can feel the rumble in my control. That pig is so strong. Let's go. Oh, hey! So big! So strong! I think I'm gonna be squished and splattered. Uh -huh. <laughs> Too much pig power! Stop crying, you! You're making it even harder for me. Alright. Before that pig starts to squish me, let's get this. There you go. Eat up. Piggy, let me see this. All right. Okay, so I must be missing something. Come here. I'm gonna have to take you somewhere else. Stupid fat pig. You know, I wonder what happened if I throw him in the water. Oh, this is gonna be so funny. That's so hilarious. Fast forward. Oh, to think they're gonna make fun of me saying that I've been named after a pig. Ha ha! We got a heart pea, a piece of heart. I need a little bit of heart. All right. Now you piggy, owe me gratitude. You owe me life. I said that. So anyways, let's go feed, I'm going to go to the beetle juice shop and then I'm heading back to Windfall because there's, because as you remember we were also giving, supposed to be mailing something to Mo, the Moppin. Slow down a bit, man. Alright, awesome sauce. Back in Windfall Island! Woohoo! 
this is a rich place person place to be jiggy. Huh? Just recently my missing daughter was returned to me. I didn't think I could ever feel more joyful. But then she went and started working to the shop to help over our tight fine night time. What a trooper. Could that girl be any more of an angel? Although I do worry about how she always seems to sneak out at night. Um I thought I stopped her. Oh well. Then again I wanna have the third bottle like that. Stop her. Hey, how are you doing? Ah, uh, we meet again! But of course, honestly, I'm working. How dare you suggest that? I'm done with all that sneaking around in the dark. In fact, I'm heading off to a far away island to work in the evening now, so I won't be seeing you at night anymore. Hey, alright, well, alright, now you keep me. Okay. Let's start an extra fun have... Step right here, please stop by. First, you're telling me to get off, but now you're telling me to stop by. Such a shock. Let's go here. My guts tell me I'm gonna have a bad feeling in this place. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open your ears. Yeah! Silence! I'm telling you we don't allow postmen here. Be gone, be gone! Don't be ridiculous. I went through the great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Forge and return with Mo's letter. <laughs> Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Then please be reasonable. Can I at least sign for the letter? <laughs> Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Just acknowledge that I was here! Yeah. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Crack! Crack! Foolish man, now you make me act. I can't even look in your face any longer. I fear I might. I must go somewhere cool to somewhere to call my feather feathers. Well, what a wrenched unruly postman. I don't know anything about any Mr. Mo and for any forsaken for the yet he always come here bring his letters. Did this no thing I'll let him lay on they hand on my one and only daughter Maggie. I look at who letter they are. They never reach her on my watch. What the hell? He has a thing to post me on, does he? Okay. So let's solve this crisis. We can just go here and here and here. Take a picture. I don't think I have took a picture of that guy. Let's check it out. Oops. Hello. Welcome. Oh my, you're a very small cousin, aren't you? Where? That's fine, of course. You just feel free to look around. That pose. Will he accept you like this? I don't know. I just figured it out. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry you had to witness me flying off handed like that at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. That man just. Never mind. To tell you the truth, though. I came to deliver a letter addressed to Maggie from a mom named Mo, but as you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't permit me, permit me to give it to her. What a stubborn, manly old man, refusing to accept a letter from Postman, who heard such nonsense. I went to a great trouble to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortune, it was the most frightening ordeal, let me tell you. If I don't deliver this letter, then I'm a failure at the delivery train. But... I have another delivery waiting to be made. I can't mope here forever. Actually, though, I have an idea. That old fool may not permit postman on his premise, but surely he will allow you in his place, will he not? Can you deliver this letter to Maggie Meister? We say, I'll do it. But is it you, young man? Our life's ever surely never hurts to ask. I shall leave this letter in your care. We got the mom's letters. It stinks. I'm counting you to put this Maggie's in and thank you. Alright, I'm out of here. Two Maggie's. Get out of here.
All right. Um, uh, to take the mother's letter. I'll take it to Maggie. She's doing a thing. Hi, Maggie. Uh, oh, Mom, my sweet pretty mom, will you respond to me? Cho la la I got your response. Uh, could it be? I learned from what I saw in my dreams. Let me read this instinct. Um, this is Mo. I like you, Maggie, so much that I want to eat you for dinner. That does not sound good. You hear that those words? This means I'm the animus. Could it be? Yes, I know what it means. <laughs> this is my proposal. Okay, that's not what I was thinking. It must be. At least my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understand how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. Hold on, hold on. Let me do this one. Do di do di do la la. Yeah, I'm supposed to that on purpose. From here on out, today will be for. Today will be the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. Stomach. Oh, it's completely slim, Mama. I must thank you for your, you for your own this. To come with my anniversary of true love, I'll give you this. A oh, piece of heart. We got another piece of heart. I am so grateful. At least it's better than being a stomach. <laughs> Oh, treasure is always. Oh, that mo. I just threw a messy hand right. It's so dashing, wild, and dangerous. We're not right. Tomorrow I'll, sh tomorrow I'll travel to where mo awaits for me. Okay. She is the. Though she was poor. <laughs> Okay, well anyways, she was poor, and she lacks nutrition, and she probably does lack education. Uh, then again, do mamas really eat people? In any case, yep. let's travel somewhere. We're somewhere. I'm gonna try out that little Birdman competition that Ruth was talking about. Cause it was on the east. We have to change the wind to the west. East. My bad. Let's do this. I decide to move to the I will win. Move to the east. Okay, let's get out of here. To the little island, we go. 